I'm an automotive service technician. I graduated from ASAP in 2017. I graduated from the ASAP program in 2015. ASAP, good acronyms. We are into looking at the Automotive Service Education Program. It is a joint adventure between the provincial government, the community colleges, General Motors of Canada, and the associated dealerships. We provide training for apprentices when they come in, and so they can meet the requirements of the government and the General Motors requirements of the dealerships. Anybody who has a general interest in automotive industry should look into uh, applying. Why not? It's really not that long of a program and the rewards are phenomenal, really. Being a female in this trade has not been a problem whatsoever. You're with the same people all the way through. Can you become a team or even a family? I love working on cars and I love, honestly, problem solving and fixing things. That satisfaction from fixing something yourself and you did it right the first time, it's so great. We get paid to actually work and then go to training so it's kind of nice because we don't have to put our own money on the line to go to training and go to school and then not know if you have a job in the end whereas we have a secure job after we're done school and we're licensed we're already blended right into the workplace. I started in the program uh, in 2013 when I was cleaning cars actually eventually got onto the lube rack changing oil and doing tires and whatnot and then I was offered an apprenticeship and I'm actually in my third level of that now and almost done. The enrollment in the ASAP program starts basically at the high school level. From high school, I started in a co-op with the General Motors dealership, and that evolved in an apprenticeship in the ASAP program. The whole program from start to finish is about a two and a half year process, which is a lot faster than I had initially thought. It's a four course term in school, and in between those periods, you go back to your dealership and get to apply what you've learned. You do theory in the morning, and then we do lab it in the afternoon and throughout the entire course it's steady with the work and everything. Average day in school we would go in morning and start in class. After lunch you would be in the shop and it's just your hands-on. I'm more of a hands-on learner so it really helped me there. Something new every day you know, is keeps you always keeps you on your toes. Think about something it's not like a desk job you're sitting there. Always something new to figure out. We got to work with the latest products of uh, GM, whether it's the Volt or the Bolt or the, the new Escalade, pretty much any new product, really, we had the latest and greatest. And it was really nice to be able to play with the most recent technology. I think my first tool I get out of my toolbox when I go to work on a car is my laptop, actually, nowadays. And whether it's being scanning a car, using the oscilloscope, or even the electronic wheel balancer, everything's electronic now, and it's really fun to use. As a technician, we need to understand communication and monitoring between each system of the car and how it all comes together. The support we received through the program was phenomenal. There's usually two instructors. Like you have the one throughout the whole program, and then usually there's a second one, you know, a first year or a second year specialist that helps. So definitely there's lots of hands on with the teacher, lots of support. I got quite a bit of support from the teachers, whether that's being after class or even one on one. I think it's awesome. If you have any question, he's there to help or anything in the trade. They're always willing to stay late with you if you need extra help and in class at any time if you have questions about what you're doing. They're fully trained to teach you exactly what you need to know to get the answer that you need. I think it's a great career choice because the automotive industry is ever changing and it's always going to be changing. So they're bringing new aspects in every day that we need to be on top of with technical training and information to be able to properly service these vehicles. That's what's exciting about it really is that there's always something new and always Things are changing so fast these days, it's really nice to be able to learn and grasp everything that's up and coming, really. Most people, they are fascinated by mechanics and the way engines work and everything, and if you took 10 minutes to come into the shop and see, I guarantee you'd be signing up for the program because it's awesome to be in. There was times where I really thought I couldn't do it, you know, ripping a diff apart. I can't even lift it. <laughs> it doesn't matter how strong you are, it's what's in here that really counts. Jump into it and uh, get your feet wet. When I look at what the students have got out of it at the end, there's no limitation to where they can take this program. They can be a general technician, they can be a shop foreman, service manager, all the way up to even working as a training instructor, which we have in the past. I believe so much in the program that just recently, uh, one of the graduates from the program on the honor roll was actually my son. It gave me the opportunity to look at the program's success from an instructor's point of view, a coordinator, and most importantly, a parent's perspective. I would encourage anybody who has any interest in automotive at all uh, to talk to your guidance counselor. Come on down to the dealership. Let us show you around. It's a great career, and a lot of people don't realize you can make a great living at it.